top of the engine we have the MotorTech ignition system, all MotorTech ignition coils, wires, and then up to the left we've got the MotorTech mixer. And that mixer allows us to vary the air fuel ratio depending on what kind of fuel the engine's running on. So as the composition of the gas in the well changes, that mixer is able to adapt to that to correct for different levels of energy in the fuel. So on all of the cylinders, we have individual cylinder knock sensing. If the unit does experience knock, those sensors will pick it up and the motor tech ignition will reduce timing to try to prevent that knock. If that timing reduction isn't able to take away the knock, then it will put the unit into a warning and if it's bad enough, a shutdown mode so you don't harm the engine. This component controls mixer motor functions. The component right below it controls binary inputs and some outputs as well as a few analog outputs. Right next to that is the detonation controller. This takes in all the knock sensor signals and sends it out to the controller. Below that you have analog inputs from whether it's coolant, oxygen sensor, some temp sensors. Next to that you have your throttle control. This will take care of any engine speed governing. And then shielded in this box down here is the base box, the actual brain of the unit. That's the MotorTech AIO NTC black box or BB. And then you also have an, uh, an IG AVRI and an IG AVRI transformer for voltage sensing considerations behind there. That's segregated so uh, to get rid of uh, high voltage, low voltage concerns. And then this component takes in our CAN signal for load sharing. And this is what outputs that analog signal for third party controller paralleling and load sharing. So the six colored wires on the far right are gonna be your standard CAN connection uh, between any COMAP or similar MGG450 units. And then the three colored wires to the far left would be for if you're doing any analog load sharing with a third party controller, such as Deep Sea or, or DIFE. And then the two black wires to the far, far left of the uh, terminal block, that, those are for a remote start connection.